Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on antepartum hemorrhage. Antepartum hemorrhage is defined as any per-vaginal bleeding occurring after 22 weeks of pregnancy. If before 22 weeks, any per-vaginal bleeding is categorized under threatened miscarriage. And the incidence for this antepartum hemorrhage is around 3-5% to among the cases. And we have to differentiate from SHOW, which is blood stain mucoid discharge. These are some of the causes of antepartum hemorrhage, which can be due to maternal cause or fetal cause. For maternal cause, it can be indeterminate, which we don't know the cause, and it is actually the most common cause, where it consists of 45% of the cases. Other causes include eruptio placenta, around 30% of cases, placenta previa, or local causes like infection of the cervix and vagina causing cervicitis and vaginitis, trauma to cervix of vagina, cervical polyp, ectropion, or cervical cancer can also cause antepartum hemorrhage. Whereas for fetal cause, the cause is due to vasa previa. So when we suspect for antepartum hemorrhage when the patient presents with per vaginal bleeding, we can take the history and ask questions like how much is the amount of bleeding? Quantify it using how many pets, is it only spotting or minimal bleeding? And ask the color of the bleeding, whether it is dark red or bright red. Any associated symptoms like abdominal pain, which is suggestive towards eruptual placenta, because there is no pain in placenta previa. Ask any uterine contraction, which could suggest for labor, any leaking like qua or fainting episodes. Any fetal movement felt to check whether the fetus is still viable. And since there is bleeding, we have to ask for anemic symptoms such as shortness of breath, fatigue, dizziness or palpitation. Also ask whether there is any vaginal discharge and what could be the cause of this antepartum hemorrhage by asking is there any precipitating factor like trauma to the abdomen, any sexual intercourse prior to this hemorrhage episode, massage or was she doing any heavy work. Also remember to ask for risk factors such as previous caesarean section or trauma to the abdomen. And is there any previous or latest ultrasound scan that shows a low-lying placenta or placenta previa, since placenta previa is also one of the causes for antepartum hemorrhage. On physical examination, generally the patient might appear pale and we have to check the vital signs like blood pressure and pulse rate. Look for signs of shock due to excessive hemorrhage. Abdominal examination, check the fundal height, time the contractions, and is the abdomen soft or firm or tender? If tender, might suggest towards placenta eruptio. If there is any scar or previous scar due to delivery, check the scar tenderness. Also check the fetal lie presentation and palpate whether we can feel the fetal parts. Usually in placenta eruptio, we cannot feel the fetal parts since the abdomen is too tense. Whereas in placenta previa, we can still feel the fetal parts. We can also do ultrasound to check the placenta location, see whether it is placenta previa, and also check the fetal line and viability of the fetus. Speculum examination is safe in placenta previa. Ensure the clots are removed to visualize the cervix and vagina to identify the source of the bleeding. And also check whether the bleeding is still ongoing or has stopped already. Also, speculum examination can be used to rule out cervical cancer, which is also one of the causes of antepartum hemorrhage. Digital vagina examination can only be done only after we rule out placenta previa. If it is a case of placenta previa, we cannot do vagina examination. For management of antepartum hemorrhage, first we call for help, call the senior staff, senior nurse, and also check the airway briefing and circulation, estimate the amount of blood loss, check the maternal vital signs such as pulse rate, blood pressure, and also capillary refill time. Look for signs of shock and resuscitate the patient if in shock. Insert two large bowl IV cannula and take blood for full blood count, coagulation profile, and also group cross match for units. Check the fetal heart rate by cardiotocograph and monitor the viability of the fetus. Also, look for the cause of bleeding and we can do ultrasound scan to exclude placenta previa to look for retro placenta clot to suggest bleeding due to placenta eruptio 
and also assess the baseline growth parameters of the baby. Speculum examination and vagina examination after rule out placenta previa. And after stabilizing the patient, monitor the maternal vital signs in word, pet charting, and also monitor the fetal well being through CTG and fetal kick chart. That's all for this video. Thank you.